Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to draw the Google Chrome logo in Affinity Designer. A few months ago I recorded a tutorial on how to do it, but I came up with a better and more elegant method, so I decided to record it anew. So first we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions, and we click on Create, and then we go to View, Guides, and we add some horizontal, vertical and center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that snapping and snap to guides are enabled. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So overall we're going to need three circles. So we take the ellipse tool, we set the stroke to none, and we're going to set the field to blue. So it's going to be the following color, 1A73E8. And then we go ahead and we draw a circle, and we give it 600 by 600 pixels in dimensions. And then with the Move tool, we center it in the middle of the composition. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate it. We select the circle behind, and we set the color to pure white. And then we are going to scale it up. We select the square in the middle, so that we rescale in relation to it. And we set the size to 750 by 750 pixels. And then we select the circle behind, and we scale it up again. We select the one behind, we scale it up to 1500 by 1500 pixels in dimensions. And then we set the color to red, so it's going to be this following color, E74032. So now we have all three circles that we need. So then we're going to create the yellow and the green color in the red circle, but before we do that, we select the white circle, we press Ctrl J to duplicate it, and then we select both the white duplicated circle and the red circle, and then we go here to subtract to remove the part of the white circle from the red circle. So this leaves us with a red donut, and then we're going to create the yellow and the green part in the red donut. So in order to do this, first we press on Ctrl R to bring out the ruler menu, and then we go ahead and we take a guide, and we position it here, right at the upper extremity of the white circle. And then the next step, we take the pen tool, we set the stroke and the field to none, and then we go ahead and we draw a line from here, the intersection of these two guys here, to here, to the outer extremity of the red circle, along the line. And then we're going to duplicate this line, so we take the move tool, we go here to enable transform origin, and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. Make sure that it is in the center. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it, and we set the rotation angle to 120 degrees. So now we have the second line where we want it to be. And then we press on Ctrl J again, and then we disposition to the third line where we want it to be. So then we select all three lines, as well as the red donut. So we must have all four elements selected. And then we go here to divide. So this breaks the red donut into three parts. And then we can color the different parts as we want them. So we select the part in the bottom right side, and we are going to set the color to yellow. So it's going to be the following HTML notation, so FBB E0A. And then we select the part in the bottom left side. So this is going to be the green part, and we set the color to 299B48. And this sets this part to green. And then we can remove the guide as we don't need it anymore, and we can hide the rulers menu. Alright, so now the figure is complete, you learn how to create the Google Chrome logo in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time, bye!